When you get a service file into SOLIDWORKS from some other source, oftentimes it'll have voids or gaps in the surfaces, and you want to be able to get rid of those very quickly. A secret that's kind of been around in SOLIDWORKS forever, but many people don't know about, is you can use your delete key on your keyboard to get rid of those. Take a look at this one gap. I'll just go ahead and grab one of the edges and then hit my delete key on my keyboard, and then I get this option to delete the either the feature, which would be the surface, or in this case, the hole. And it'll go ahead and pick all the other edges and get rid of it. Let's do it for a couple more. I'll grab these three, just select one of the edges on those, on those items, and then just hit your delete key, and then say delete holes, and then the uh, surface gaps will be uh, removed. Because surfaces have a contiguous sort of definition, so we can just get rid of them really easily. Now, sometimes it doesn't work on open gaps like this, and you'll get an error message saying it's not possible. So what do you do in those cases? Well, then you're gonna go ahead and add your own surface. Now you can use a number of different surface types. Uh, fill surface would be one, for example, but when you do that, sometimes you don't get exactly the geometry you want. So I'll say fix up boundary, which will go ahead and cross that open gap in the fill surface, and you'll see that, yeah, we'll fill it in, but it's not exactly contiguous with everything else I have. And it's got that sort of extra flap out there, which, you know, I don't want. So let's take a little more control and go into a 3D sketch. And first of all, we'll add our own complete boundary on there. I'm going to go ahead and use a two-point spline. Just tag either end of the gap and hit escape to place that spline. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick the spline and either side of the boundary. I'm going to go ahead and tell it that I want the spline to be curvature continuous to those edges. That way it's gonna match the curvature and give me that nice boundary that I'm looking for. So I define the boundary myself. And now to fill that in, I'm gonna use a little more sophisticated um, surface tool called the boundary surface. So I'll pick my two boundaries. In this case, I'm gonna also tell it that I want a curvature continuous to the outside of the rest of that surface. And then we'll just go up to that other boundary and then it'll fill it in very nicely, matching the curvature all the way around and giving me th that nice contiguous uh, boundary that I want for my surface fill. So those are a couple of quick techniques you can use to quickly fill in surface gaps, especially at imported geometry.